What's up, everybody? You're watching Clown Live! I am your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like. But hey, we're here today with an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. Yo, we got some cool products that I've showed you before. We're going to take a look at them again today. And uh, I've got some new things that I haven't shown you yet. So feel free to take a look around in the carousel. And let me know in the chat if you see anything new. We're going to talk about everything that I got here behind me. And then also we're going to uh, sit down and take a look at some uh, product pages that I want to share with you all today. And also we're doing a $5 Amazon gift card giveaway at the end of the show. So head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter that now. <clears throat> Pardon me. If you've already entered the form, you don't have to enter again. But if you're new here, hit the follow button on Amazon. Head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win and enter for a $5 gift card. Come back here. We're going to have a fun clown race at the end of the show. And then we're going to pick a winner. Okay, so that's going to be really fun. Now, another really important thing is that the $100 Amazon gift card or $100 PayPal cash uh, giveaway is ending today. Like it ends in like 10 hours. So, uh, really, really soon that's going to be over. So head over to shoppingdragons.com slash win 100. All right. Those two websites are, uh, scrolling at the bottom of the page. So go get entered for that and good luck. <clears throat> all right, cool. Hey, we're doing a Saturday stream. That's earlier than normal. How's everybody doing this weekend? Thought I'd come out here and set up a stream and have some fun. What up, Robin Luke? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready too. I'm ready to talk about all these great products today. Now, yo, as everybody that's watching may be aware, I uh, I have I love talking about all the products in great depth, but I finally figured out how to get the stopwatch on my timer working. So I've got five minutes. So I'm gonna hit the timer and it's on repeat. So every time the alarm goes off today, we're gonna switch the product. It doesn't matter where I'm at with it, that's what we're going to do today. So maybe this will help hone some skill to speak uh, more uh, efficiently about the products that we want to talk about today. Because, you know, it's not really a hard set goal, but it's kind of a goal that I've been kind of put in front of myself. So uh, I figure if we can do all these products in the first hour of the show, that would be a really big get. So let's see if we can do it. And, uh, you know, I see Robin Luker out here and I see Becky and I see Ray Ray Gumi Chan. What's up? <clears throat> I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Things have been going splendid here. Mima actually left for the weekend to go visit with her family before the holidays. And so uh, she's not going to be around this weekend um, for today's show or tomorrow when we uh, 
when we do a Sunday show. We'll do another show tomorrow at the same time, but Mima won't be around for that. So uh, I hope that she's having fun with her family. And I'm definitely excited to be having some fun out here with y'all today, uh, like I said, on Clown Live. So let's get right into it now. Uh, I see Bill in the chat. What up? Uh, did I miss the keyword? Is there a keyword? Did I miss the keyword? No, I don't think so. I haven't done any roll call. I, ha I can't. Uh, if I'm out at the table, there's no way that I can do a roll call and take names. So not yet, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, yo, <clears throat> I'm going to start this timer right now, five minutes. And then when the alarm goes off, we just got to switch to the next product and do all of it in five minutes. Okay, so let's see how this goes today. All right. Uh, five minutes. Repeat the timer. Go. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> this is the TriBit Home Wireless Home Speaker. Now, this is a really, really loud alarm clock that you can buy today for $69.99. Oh, wrong button. Uh, it's for $69.99. And uh, is it tracking? No. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. TriBit Home Wireless Speaker is $69.99 today. And it's got all these great features on it. It's got white noise built into it and all other types of noises. Uh, that are built into this touch ring around the exterior of the time piece itself. Uh, but <clears throat> it also offers a really lot, excuse me, it also, it also offers a lot of expandability. Not only does it have that white noise and bird noises and other built-in sounds, it also has an FM receiver, so it is a radio. And you can expand the antenna on this radio by plugging in <laughs> the included antenna here, this is it. It's just a really thin piece of wire that has a headphone jack on it that's three and a half millimeters. And this is going to plug into your auxiliary input jack and act as that antenna. Now, if you unplug the antenna, like I said, it is an auxiliary input. So you can plug anything that has, like I just said, your standard three and a half millimeter jack. It also has a micro SD card reader and it has Bluetooth built into it. So you can really connect to this a lot of different ways. <clears throat> and it has this really nice fabric kind of coating on it that I don't see on a lot of devices. Everything is really like plastic, you know, but this has a really nice fabric on it. And I'm not sure what the fabric is made of, but I know that when I touch it, it's it's a little bit like abrasive, but not like in a, in a poor feeling way. It's just like, uh, it's not ultra soft, you know? But it skins the entire radio and it doesn't um, it doesn't uh, stretch like when you rub it a little bit, like it doesn't have any flex in it. So it's really adhered to the device very well. You can have power buttons, volume buttons by my fingers here, as well as the ability to switch tracks and, and navigate radio signals. Uh, also, you have a um, let's see, we have the alarm button here and we have a light button. And the light button is really cool because the TriBit Home wireless speaker has these three different built-in light modes. You have this really bright white light. Uh, also, it has like a really kind of ambient rainbow chasing light. Now, I know that the sensor on my camera doesn't really pick it up that well, but you really have to take my word for it. It is a really just like nice, clear looking light. It's a really thick to it's a really wide ambient light in between these two fiber uh, covered halves. OK. Uh, and there is a third option too that offers the the light um, and it moves a little bit faster than the setting before it. And it offers like strobe light features, but I think that's just noise reactive when you're playing the radio. The TriBit Home Wireless Radio is a really, really awesome uh, alarm clock that does need to be plugged into the wall. I've got it plugged in here. <clears throat> and you're going to get that in the box, okay? You're going to get the plug that you need, the adapter to plug it into your standard plug outlet and that FM wire uh, antenna. So TriBit wireless home speaker, really, really awesome, really nice. TriBit makes a lot of great products, and you should click through the carousel and check out uh, TriBit store because they don't just make alarm clocks. They make a lot of great audio uh, devices. Boom, we're done with that with a minute and a half to spare. So let's take a look at the chat. Ready, ready, ready. What's up, Bill? You can do it. Thanks, Robin. Uh, you're early. Nice. Yeah, we just started. We're going to go for a little bit. Okay, so that's the tribe. Okay, let's put it away. <clears throat> the tribe, it's really loud, too. I'm not going to do the demo today because I'm sure y'all have heard on the show before. Oh, let's go here. Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to do the demo of the volume with the TriBit today, but it is really loud. And like when you crank it to its maximum volume, it shakes in your hand, which like I just never really experienced a, 
an alarm clock that's that's that loud before. So, okay, that's the Tribe at Home wireless home speaker. What's up, Samantha Gavaro? Next, let's get into the OBSBOT Tiny 4K PTZ. Oh, let me put this antenna away here. Okay, let's, okay, we can set up. We got 30 seconds before our first five minutes is up. We can use that time to set up. We can do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we got 20 seconds. We'll just fold it into the five minutes. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's zoom in here onto the table. Okay, that's five minutes on Tribit. Let's talk about the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K. <clears throat> this is a really, really awesome webcam that is difficult for me to show you now because I'm using it to broadcast. Oh, five minutes, five minutes. Okay, timer, keep going. Okay, five minutes on OBSBOT. This is the OBSBOT Tiny PTZ 4K web camera. It uh, offers these PTZ uh, features and gesture recognition features baked into the firmware. When you open that, when you open it out of the box, the gimbal uh, design of this camera has the ability to pan and tilt and zoom. It's going to follow you around the room. And that's really cool because, um, you know, sometimes when I'm making content, I need a cameraman. Now with the OBSBOT PTZ, like it really eliminates the, the necessary, the necessity to facilitate that, but check the, check out these gestures. I can put my hand up like I'm waving at the OBS bot. And now the OBS bot is going to center on my face and it's going to follow me around the house, which uh, I think is really cool. Now it offers, I think maybe about 270 degrees of rotation. I can almost walk completely behind um, the camera and it will still track me. So it's a really, really great device that follows you all over the room and it can track your head or it can track your body. Oh, I'm over here. I'm over here. What's up? What's up? Did I wave my hand too much? Are we still tracking? Oh, that's okay. What's up? Okay, come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. So the OBSBOT is really great at following you around the room. Now, really, an another really great feature that is built into OBSBOT is the ability to make a gesture that allows it to zoom in on you. And that works really simple like this. You just make an L shape and the OBSBOT's going to zoom in on you. Now, when you get the OBSBOT Tiny 4K PTZ, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's manually move this up. Let's move this up a little bit. Uh, when you buy the OBSBOT Tiny 4K PTZ, uh, these gestures, like I said, work right out of the box, but you got to know when you do the gesture for zoom, like I'm doing now, uh, out of the box, it supports two times digital zoom. But when you download the OBSBOT webcam software and do a firmware update, it'll then support up to four times digital zoom. So, uh, if I give you the example of zooming again, um, I got this fully zoomed in here at 3.2%. So this is only 3%. I'd say the camera is like a solid six feet away from me at least. So let's uh, do the rest of the zoom. So this is going to be the four time digital zoom offered by the OBSBOT. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It doesn't look the worst <clears throat> um, for being digital zoom. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love that about it. And uh, also included with the software is going to be uh, a bunch of different presets. You can have presets that you set yourself where you can position the gimbal in place with the software that's built in, or you can use keyboards. On It happens every time. Doesn't it happen every time I do that example? I've got to change my my uh, Chrome shortcuts because Alt Left is back a page, and that's what I'm doing. I've got my preview on Streamyard selected, and not my OBSBOT software. So even though there are global hotkeys that are recognized by the OBSBOT software, you want to make sure that you don't have like any crossed wires like I do. So uh, if I didn't have alt left binded to back a page through Google Chrome, that issue wouldn't happen. But uh, okay, we can still do that quick example uh, just by making sure that my OBSBOT software is selected before we do it. So uh, yeah, a silly little thing. But um, like I said, when you don't have your global hotkeys binded to simultaneous uh, commands, right? 
then that that type of thing doesn't happen. So, but check this out. I can I can position the camera in any way that I want. Uh, I can move it left and right. I can move it up and down um, with with these uh, hardware shortcuts. And what's great about the hardware shortcuts is that uh, they're global, right? Like I was describing before. So you can input these global hotkeys on um, on a Steam Deck, on a Stream Deck, for example, and really have the ability to hit those preset marks. So that's exactly what I've done here. I've got my wide shot. This pulls out really wide to me. And also I've got my close up table shot as well as a shot that moves up and just kind of has me a little bit closer on my face. Okay. So, uh, but these aren't the only shortcuts included in the webcam software and really like the GIMP, the, the PTZ itself is just the hardware. It looks really cool. Look at, the, look at this hardware here. The hardware, oh, five minutes. Oh, we're done. We're done on the OBS bot. Yo, the OBS bot today is $215. It's 20% off. And uh, you can get more information about that by clicking through the carousel and checking out the OBS bot store. They've got a lot of great um, products uh, that uh, are similar to the OBS bot, but not similar, but not. You know what I'm saying? So let's move on from that. We're going to move on to the next product here. And that's going to be the fine dine dishes. I really love these fine dine dishes uh, because they replaced so much plastic in the house here. I was so glad when we got these uh, to replace plastic because we had so much and we just didn't need all of it. Uh, so once we got these, we had to make some room for them. So like I'm repeating, like really awesome to get rid of so much plastic. These are better than the plastic that I have because these are actually made of glass. Now, the lids themselves aren't glass. They're plastic. But the glass, the bowl, it's 35 ounces uh, and, it, and it's tempered glass that you can put in the freezer and then take out of the freezer and put it directly in the oven. And from the oven, you can put this right on your table and eat out of it. So uh, it's really got this strong um, uh, temperature resistant glass that like, a, you know, you uh, from freezer to oven to table it, and the plastic. Uh, they, it's got a, the plastic lid has a few important qualities about it that I want to tell you, but I never memorize. Okay. And those are that, um, uh, the lid is BPA free. It's 100% hypoallergenic. Also it's 100% bacteria, mildew and mold resistant. And the, and like I said, it's suitable for, uh, um, oven to table use. Now, another thing that it says on this box is that these, uh, these fine dine dishes are leak proof. And I'm going to show that to you now. I've got a little bit of water here. <clears throat> and when we put the water in, uh, you only need a little bit for the, for the demo, but uh, when you put the water in, uh, and put the lid on, you just want to make sure that your gasket is seated. Okay. And you'll feel the clicks of the hinges really click into place and i've had these where we didn't put the hinges on tight enough so just make sure that you're paying attention that when you put the lid on all of your hinges are snapped down and once you ensure that you're going to get that leak proof seal and that's going to be between this plastic lid and a similar plastic gasket that is removable and cleanable so even though the fine dines do um uh, advertise to you that they don't have trapped food just on the in case, you know, fine dine still has you covered that you can remove the gasket and, and, uh, clean it. Now they do say that it's dishwasher safe, but in my entire life, I've always felt absolutely safest washing my plastic lids by hand. So that's what we do here. But yeah, the lid, the, the bowls themselves, uh, that heat resistant glass, um, like I tell you again, they can go from the freezer to the oven uh, and and uh, not crack. So that's a really, really valuable uh, quality in these fine dine 35 ounce uh, three pack bowls. And now if this is interesting to you, OK, but maybe not these particular sizes, click through the carousel and check out the store because they have a lot of different sizes to accommodate to accommodate a lot of different um, uh a lot of different options for you to choose from to accommodate whatever you need in regarding your kitchen storage food needs. Okay. These are going to keep foods up to twice uh, to keep these food. Excuse me. These are going to keep foods fresh up to twice as long. So uh, definitely, definitely check out fine dine. These glass food storage containers are a must have boom with a minute left.
Okay, the uh, the Superior Glass Round Fine Dine 35-ounce containers, they're available today for $20.99. Uh, you missed the sale on these for Cy Black Friday to Cyber Monday. I'm pretty sure they were on sale all weekend. Do, do, do. Samantha, what's up? I won that on Dragon Blogger, and I love it. You won the Tribit on Dragon Blogger? It's really loud, eh, the Tribit? It's so loud. I'm yelling over the Tribit that isn't even playing. That's how loud it is. Uh, Blake, listening on my new E1000s, first time trying them out. Hey, Bill, I'm so glad that I could be some of the first audio that you experienced through your Exa E1000s. Uh, they really are really comfortable, and that and that rainbow RGB aesthetic doesn't give off too much light, right? It just it just looks right, and the way that it um, also lights up the Exa uh, uh, branding on the cup is also really nice. Now, oh oh no, we're done. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, we're done with these. We talked about the glasses. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we're going to talk about the Skull Mason Jar mugs. Okay, Skull Mason Jar mugs are absolutely awesome. I think that you should not even listen to me and click through the carousel and add these to your cart right now. But if you must, if you must, okay, these Skull Mason Jar mugs are really, really fun. And, like, they're made out of glass, so they're not, like, tempered or anything. So be careful, like, moving them around. Now, I've been fortunate and haven't broke mine yet, but... I love these things. They're fun to look at. They're easy to hold in the skull shape because the back of the skull is round. So you can really get a good grip on it in the palm of your hand. And uh, like it is glass molded, but they don't skip out on too many details. You're going to get a nice nose bone uh, as well as eyes that uh, are concave. And even in the back behind the jaw, they put a little extra, uh, a little extra detail, and you know, I, I like the way that these look. If you buy these today, these uh, Goldinger Skull Mason jars, they're gonna be nineteen ninety five, which is a fifty percent off deal, and that's awesome to be fifty percent off. You can get four of these for twenty dollars today. When you buy them, they're gonna come with the lids, okay, that screw on and off, and uh, the lids are cool. Because when you buy these, they come with their own hard plastic straws. I actually have a, I actually have a flathead silicone reusable straw in my skull mug because the plastic straw that was included with this had a gasket with it. And the gasket um, broke on mine after well good use. Well good use for that little tiny plastic uh gasket okay but they do have these hard plastic straws and so when my gasket broke it was cool because now i can use my flathead straws but the benefit of the gasket is that it helps make these mason jar skull mugs spill resistant not spill proof necessarily because if you have the straw in it and you knock it over some liquid could shoot out of the straw but with the gasket in place it's going to be really like not spilling out of there Again, with the straws that are included, my gasket broke. I use my flathead reusable silicone straw now, and it lets air in when I want to drink really fast, which uh, oftentimes I do drink really fast. So, These are the Goldinger skull-shaped mason jar mugs with screw-on lids. Uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend necessarily, like, make sure you leave the tops open if you put them in the freezer and I don't know if they're rated for like freezer stuff. If, uh, so be careful with that. Maybe I shouldn't even talk about it because I'm unsure, but these are awesome. I love this. They're not just good for Halloween. You can drink out of these every day. And I feel cool when I do it. Um, uh, okay. Let's take a look at the chat here. Cause we got like two minutes left now on the mugs and there ain't much else to say about the mugs. So let's slow it down for uh, a minute. I got a minute and a half. Oh man. Okay. Do, do, do. Brenda's in the chat. What's up? 10 minutes ago, making great time. Thanks Brenda. What's up, Randy Dresden. We're just out here hanging out today. Uh, trying to do, I got a stopwatch on my thing on my clock. Uh, excuse me. I've got a stopwatch on my watch that has given me five minutes and I've got one minute left until I have to move on from the skull Mason jar mugs. So since I'm done talking about them, let me tell you that we are hosting giveaways here on dragon blogger 
uh, excuse me. Yeah, well, it is Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Uh, we are under that umbrella, but this is Shopping Dragons, and we are hosting a $5 Amazon gift card here today at the end of this show, as well as a $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal cash payout. Um, so check out both of these websites, okay? For the $5 boy, check out shoppingdragons.com slash win. And for the $100 giveaway, check out shoppingdragons.com slash win 100. Now, there are abilities to um, get extra entries on both of those forms every day. So go check that out. Uh, learn about it. And if you're on the $100 form right now, okay, the secret word is snow dragon, okay? The secret word today is snow dragon. So check that out, get entered for the giveaway and then come back here and hang out with us because we're going to do a fun clown race to determine the winner of that big $5 get boom. Okay. Those are the skull mugs today. Uh, um, I haven't clicked through the Goldinger store to see what other offering. Oh, okay. I haven't clicked through the Goldinger store to see what other offerings they have, but, um, but, uh, but it don't matter because we're moving on to the Maison Master, okay? So this is going to be the Maison Master Supreme Series 11-piece kitchen knife set. Now, I do, like, obviously get it that the block is one piece, but I wish that they didn't refer to the block as one piece because I thought I was getting 12 knives, you know what I'm saying? But you don't get 12 knives. You're going to get 11 knives. I think we might have one that is away here. Here it is. Here it is. The paring knife. We've been we use it, right? So we gotta clean them, and uh, we didn't put it back. But yeah, this is the Supreme Series Maison Master 11 piece kitchen knife set. Now, in this kit, you're gonna get uh, an eight inch chef knife. Let's move the camera up just a little bit, okay? Um, I want to make sure that I got those proper things selected here. Uh, yeah, we don't need to look at me necessarily. So let's, okay. Okay, so what you get with the Supreme Series uh, Master Maison Supreme Series 11-piece kit is going to be this nice 8-inch chef knife. Uh, and in addition to the chef knife, you're going to get uh, the same size carving knife, a nice 8-inch carving knife. Uh, this is the bread knife. This is going to be the 8-inch carving knife. And now these are really sharp, and they're really, really nice because the whole body of the Master Maison knife the Supreme series, it's all one piece, right? From the blade to the tang. And then it has a two piece handle that is studded onto it. Uh, and these have some weight to them, which I think is really important when uh, you're using your knife. This, this doesn't feel like it's going to cause too much fatigue, especially like with this carving knife. I feel like uh, I, I have a lot of control with how weighted it is in my hand. Okay. So also in this 11 piece set, you're going to get the bread knife. Like I had pulled out a moment ago. This is also going to be a nice eight inch blade. It's serrated. And all of these knives are made that exact same way with one solid piece of metal uh, that has your, um, that has your grip, uh, handle, uh, studded onto it. I think it's called studded, but, um, maybe riveted. Uh, I'm not really certain. Okay. The other knives that come in this kit are going to be your, uh, a five inch utility knife. So, uh, another really small, good knife to manage what you need to in the kitchen, uh, a utility knife. So it's good for a little bit of everything. Right. And then the other knives that are in here are really easy to show. You're going to get a small three and a half inch paring knife. Good for, uh, pairing. Okay. Good for pairing. And then also in the Supreme series by master Maison, this 11 piece, uh, kit, also has uh, four, four and a half inch steak knives. Now these are really, really sharp steak knives that cut paper really easily. Um, today we're gonna forego the uh, demo on cutting paper and we'll talk about that the next time. But we looked at some of these blades under our pluggable USB microscope that we feature uh, here um, on Clown Live in the carousel occasionally. And these blades look nice and they look sharp and they don't look like they're grinded poorly. Like they look like they've been, like they are machine sharpened obviously, but uh, but they don't look like uh, poor. Like they're really nice and buffed out uh, under extreme magnification. So you can tell uh, that they are made of high quality. And, and the 11th piece here that I, I can show you is going to be the block itself. And a good feature about the block is not only does it hold all the knives, 
but it has on the back here uh, a little built-in sharpener. So we don't want to over sharpen our knives, but it's easy to take the knife and place it into the sharpener and pull it back a few strokes to resharpen the uh, blade when they do begin to dull on you. But in our experience so far, uh, we've had these for a little while. We haven't had to sharpen them yet. So these are the Supreme Series Master Maison 11-piece kitchen knife set. Uh, Master Maison is going to make a lot of great products uh, similar to the Supreme Series knife block set that I'm showing you here. So again, absolutely click through the carousel, check this out, maybe add something to the cart if you see what you like. And uh, I've been super impressed with these so far, and uh, I'm excited to maybe try some more Master Maison products uh, if they come my way. Um, so yeah, that's the 11-piece block. Boom. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Becky, for putting in the links for the uh, giveaways. Uh, Bill, you put in the win, but that's not the $100 giveaway, okay? Shoppingdragons.com slash win. Oh, we got to move on from the 11 piece. Uh, Shoppingdragons.com slash win is for the $5 giveaway today. Oh, sorry. Uh, Shoppingdragons.com slash win is for the $5 giveaway today, okay? Let's move on to a new product here in my carousel. I haven't featured uh, here on the show before. Now, this is going to be another um, kind of product that I, uh, I'm not going to demo today. But we all know how these things work uh, very well, don't we? This is going to be the Ninja QB uh, 1004 Blender. Now, uh, now, if it sounds like I'm reading that off of my app, it's because I am. I just call it the Ninja because it's the only Ninja product that we have here in the house. But uh, man, this is another product that I really love having here. And it's it's kind of like one of those things that's like you realize that you it, once you have it, you're like, oh, I can't real. I didn't know that I needed this so much right now with the Ninja. What you're going to get is a nice handheld blender and um, the motor is housed inside this handheld top. And you're going to get a 48 ounce pitcher as well as a 16 ounce chopper. And uh, look, I want you to know that. Uh, I bought my kit. My kit was two pieces and I looked for the other piece. I couldn't find it. When you click through the carousel today, you can get a three piece kit that includes a, a smaller chopper for $55. It's $54.90 today. And that's 8% off from a $60 price point. So another sale here on a brand new product that I'm stoked to show you. Uh, okay. So these are really cool. It's a pretty standard kind of blender. You're going to have like a handheld blender. You know, you're going to have the pitcher that has a lid that goes on it. And um, it has like a safety feature that is like a, only allows the blender top to go in one way. And then you press the silver button in order to spin the blades. Now we use these here to make smoothies and uh, they do pretty good on, on the ice that we use, but we use really small like ice. Okay. We use really small ice here. We use small ice that comes in these little pop out kind of trays. So uh, your results may vary with the ice that you use. So make sure that you exercise caution if you're putting like ice in your smoothies and whatnot. No, okay. Now inside the 48 ounce pitcher is going to be a blade that has three different blades on it um, to ensure that what you're blending is going to get whipped uh, really good. So now I do see that this is kind of like not a cold pressing device. It's going to be a blender. These blades are going to be uh, smooth. Okay. They're not serrated. And they stay pretty sharp. We use this when we need to. And uh, I've never been through a process where I've need, needed to resharpen the blades. But maybe we should take a look at these under the microscope one day and see my heavily used blades and see what they look like. Now, this one is the three blade uh, uh, piece for the pitcher, for the 48 ounce pitcher. And you just drop that down inside. There's just a little guide. There's just like a little guide. Uh, uh, that protrudes from the bottom of the pitcher, really easy to guide in. And then uh, we put our pitcher lid on top and then we can put our motor on top like this. And then we hit the button, blend, blend, drink, drink, enjoy, enjoy. Now, if you do have leftovers in the 48 ounce pitcher, you can remove the, the, uh, the, the blade and then have this nice seal top that fits on the blender really, really easy. And I know it's kind of like out of frame here, 
Let me go back to this table shot. Really easy to put this on, prevent air from getting into your into your drink, and uh, really easy to snap off. Now, I know I didn't put it on the full way, but it really is just a simple product to just push down. Um, you know, there it clicks into place. Uh, you'll have a better ability when you're not sliding around on a on a tablecloth uh, and you're doing it in the kitchen because this has a really nice rubber grip on the bottom of it that does stay grippy to the surfaces that it needs to. Really easy to take that off and, and replace the uh, the top for the for the motor. And it's the exact. Oh, well, Got to be careful with your hands. And it's also the exact same option with the 16 ounce chopper. You're gonna get that proprietary head that allows the function uh, uh, that allows the switch to be engaged in order to um, and get to blend or chop with the ninja uh, okay now but with the 16 ounce chopper when you pull the blade out uh, you can pull the top blade off really easily okay um, so you don't have to do that double you don't have to do like double blade. You don't have to use them both if you don't want to. You can just have the chopper sit uh, here. I know that you can't see. Uh, you can just have it sit here at the bottom of the uh, of the chopping bowl and spin singly. Oh, five minutes? Okay. Uh, and then put this piece on top. And then also this comes with a lid that seals as well. So the Ninja Blender is a really good blender. Uh, this is one that we bought and we, we stay, uh, sorry, I don't know if we bought this one. It might've been a gift from Mima's mother, but we were so stoked when we, when it came into our lives because we make mad smoothies with this. Um, I love making smoothies when, uh, when, again, when the time is right, now's not the time to make a smoothie, but maybe we can make some smoothies with this. Uh, you know, when I see blenders, I think smoothies, but you can make anything with this uh, i know that we're done the five minutes but it does have the lid that pops up and stays down so uh easy to pour i love the ninja check it out okay we don't want to do more than five minutes we're done with this we're cutting into our next time we only got four minutes left for the next thing what is the next thing next thing's gonna be the h30 okay Maybe we'll give more than a minute. We got to move fast. The the Anch the Ufi by Anchor H30 Home Vac is a really great little portable vacuum that you can uh, check out by clicking through the carousel today. It's 28% off for $129.99. And uh, yeah, so really awesome vacuum. It's got a power head on it that pulls off really easily. There's no buttons to remove it. And a dust canister that has a single button that you press to really easily remove that canister and dump out your dust. It has a filter built into it that you can quarter twist off and then quarter wash this, wash this filter, and then put the filter back in, quarter twist to lock it back into place. And there's a guide line, there's a guide rack here that you can use um, to put the dust can back on. And the dust can, see, I did it wrong. The dust can won't re- um connect to the hvac uh to the h30 home vac unless you have it set up properly now not only does it have this power head that has this cute little brush inside that effectively agitates the furniture or the carpet or the or the car or wherever you're cleaning you can reach hard to reach places with the um extension that is also included and what's cool about the extension is it has this retractable brush tip so you can take the brush tip off entirely if you want to but you can also leave it mounted permanently and if you don't want to use it you can press this red button on the top and retract it to expose the hard the hard edge so you can clean with the brush and then pull back and clean with the hard edge this thing is less than two pounds and on a full charge will run for at least 20 minutes it has an eco mode and a max mode and includes a bench uh includes a um a stand that is easy to drop the vacuum into and this is a charging base okay so not only can you keep all of the extensions and power heads in the base you can plug this in the wall to keep the base uh to charge to charge the battery now another really cool thing about this is that it does have a removable battery that you can just pinch the two buttons on the back to expose so if you need extended cleaning time and you have an additional battery it's really easy to swap batteries now i don't have a uh, an, an additional battery with my home back H30, but that's okay uh, because with the 20 minutes of clean time that we get out of it, it's pretty sufficient for what we're using it for. And again, you can really use this home vac for whatever you want. You can use it to clean your furniture. It's great at removing pet hair. 
Um, it's good for vacuuming the floor of your car. You can use the plastic extension to reach uh, like high corners um, in the in the ceiling and clean up cobwebs. Uh, the agi- the fan agitator is great for cleaning uh, ceiling fans. There's really really no uh, end to great uses for the Ufi um, H30 home vac. Okay. Uh, bam. I didn't think that I was going to be able to cover that one so fast, but we did. We did it in three minutes. That's awesome. The Ufi home vac H30 today, like I said earlier, is $129.99 and that is 28% off from its, uh, $179.99 MSRP. So, uh, still busting out the deals with the vacuums uh, all week. I think I've pretty much seen this thing for sale. Okay, bang. We got uh, we got 25 seconds to look at the chat. Let's go, let's go. Do, do, do. Hey, Travel Diva, I hope that you're doing very well. Hi, Evans, I hope that you're doing very, very well as well. Uh, have you had any – oh, sorry, we're here. Uh, have you had any great – weekend are you having a great weekend (laughs) are you having a great weekend i got a timer on my watch today so i'm trying to do five minutes of product and i got one second left until it's time to move on to the v-pod deluxe by massage therapy concepts and uh man i love this thing this is the type of device that i'm glad i have the five minute timer on right now because i could wax on poetic about the wondrous miraculous nate uh uh pain management um, healing that it's not healing, it's pain management that this tens and EMS unit offers. Uh, I'm a big, 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 big fan of, like I said, the V pod deluxe. Now, when you buy the V pod deluxe today for $189, you're going to get an adapter in here that comes out to a USB port that goes to two mini USB ports. It's a Y click. It's a, it's a cable that's uh, splits out into two, like a little squid. So that's really great because in the, in the box, you're going to get to like in the kit is going to come these two pods. And these pods are what is um, giving out the electronic muscle stimulation uh, in conjunction with the included electrodes. So the electrodes are on these pads here. I want to show them to you in a second, but uh, yeah, these pods are awesome because they're not wired. You can download an app from the Google store or iOS store um, and, and connect your V pod to it. You just press a button and turn the Bluetooth on on your phone and they're instantly detected and instantly pairable through the tap of like two buttons. They're like, do you want to pair? And then you say yes. And then they're like paired successfully and you say, okay, and you're good to go. When you get the app on your phone and, and pair these pods, then you have access to 24 different settings that offer um, 20 different power levels of intensity and you can run these for up to an hour or longer. It's really easy to slide the clock over and just run until the battery dies. Now, these pods are great because you can have these two pods, two, these two devices connected to the same app. And you can operate two different devices from the same app at the same time and have two different types of um, of electronic muscle stimulation. Or maybe you're experimenting or utilizing transcutaneous um, uh electronic nerve stimulation. The EMS Intense features on this are really, really helpful. And they attach, the pods attach to these pads with these snaps really, really easily. Um, So once you get your pod on and you have it paired, the the pads, these electrodes, they really stick to your skin. They're pre-gelled and they stay sticky for a long time. I've had this for over six months and they just stick on your skin really, really easily. Uh, whether you're putting it on your legs or your shoulders or maybe your back muscles are hurting you. Now, these are good to help manage pain, but they're also really good if you're working out and you just want some electronic muscle stimulation to help you maybe um, uh, uh, help help you feel less fatigued. You know, it's like uh, they do like it feels like little cupping or or kneading massage or shiatsu massage. There's all different types of, like I said, 24 different types of EMS and TENS options that you can choose from. Now, one other thing that's important is not only does it come with this uh, carrying case, not, not only does it come with a carrying case that has a small carrying case to hold all the individual pods, 
It comes with all the instructions and warranty information that you need to really understand how to use this. Uh, it's such a simple device, but it does come with all the information that you need on paper in the pack. And when you buy it, you're going to get two small pads like I have stored on my plastic storage. Um, this plastic storage plate, I don't know. But the plastic storage piece is included as well. And you get two small ones is what I'm trying to say and one big one. When you buy the when you buy the V-Pod Deluxe today for $189, you're going to get two pods, two small pads, and one big pad, as well as the ability to charge it, store it, and uh, really feel really, really, really good. Uh, I got a little bit of arthritis that is kind of hitting me in my shoulder a little bit nowadays. Kind of got it up here in one of these bad boys. And, uh, man, there's nothing, honestly, that feels better at home than strapping this wireless massage therapy concepts V-Pod right up to me and picking my favorite EMS or 10 setting and just zapping my zapping this boy. Zapping it feels so good. Uh, but there are different varying intensity levels. So make sure that uh, you pick the power level that's right for you. Okay. You don't want to crank it up to 20. You might want to start it slowly. Some of these, you might not even be able to feel a sensation out of the settings until you move them up to power level eight or nine. So there really are a lot of different settings with a lot of varying intensities. Uh, and one of them is right for you. If you pick this up today, big brain move, big brain move. Okay. The massage therapy concepts, V pod deluxe is available for $189. Okay, the next product on my carousel is going to be the Super Brute. Okay, the Super Brute's down here. Let's, uh, let's pop it up on the table. Super Brute's got a big electric motor in it. And it's an awesome jack. Uh, okay, let's move it over a little bit like this. There we go. Oh, see me twist my... Okay. There we go. Okay. This is going to be the Husky Super Brute HSB 4000 electric jack. This is a phenomenal jack if you're looking to push up up to 4,000 pounds in weight. This isn't one of those standard kind of like cog designs that has a that interlock at, at 90 degrees and turn a horizontal motion into a vertical up and down motion. This is more like a corkscrew ball bearing design. So even it's, it's really good at... Um, holding its place and supporting that weight. You're not going to be grinding up and, and like breaking gears. You know what I'm saying? The Super Brute HSB 4000 is, is really, really dope because it thinks of a lot of different things that just like these regular jacks don't have. You're going to have here where my finger is pointing, okay? Look, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, look at this here. Okay, this is going to be a safety light that is engaged with uh, this switch here. You're going to have a power switch to turn your lights on and off, and that's this light here. But wait a minute. What if I want to see out the sides while I'm also trying to look at the jack? Husky Super Brute has you covered because on each side of the jack, there's also going to be these lights that come out the side. Now, I'm going to turn it all the way around to show you, but take my word for it. On both your driver and passenger side, you do have these little lights. And they shine really bright. Now, I don't have this Husky Super Brute installed on my camper right now, but I have a model above the Husky Super Brute HSB 4000, and it's the 5000. And the 5000, it, it looks exactly, exactly the same as this, uh, as this Super Brute here does, you know? Now, um, okay, uh, that, that's fine. Okay, so uh, really great electric jack. It's got a switch to move this up and down. It's got a wire that you can wire this into your seven-way. It includes the bolts that you need to, excuse me, pardon me. It includes the bolts that you need to mount it to your uh, to your hitch, like to your camper. Uh, also, it's got, oh, watch my hand here. Also, it's got a nice foot that has kind of like a little trailer pin that you can pop this pin out and extend your foot to really get a great range of, uh, of motion, um, like lifting a uh, vertical, vertical lift. You can get a great range of vertical lift when you drop the leg extension. Now, please, full 18 inch stroke. So uh, a full 18 inch stroke and a rated 
I'm going to read this box to you, okay? I'm going to turn around and read this box really quick. This box right here, this box right up here in the corner. Uh, it's got a full 18-inch stroke with a 4,000-pound lift capacity. It's rated load up and down, 6-inch cycle travel time is 16, 60 seconds. So you can go from bottom to top in a minute with the Super Brew HSB 4000, and that's just good at saving you time. Um, what else does it say here on the box? Two and a quarter inch jack diameter. Okay. Now, okay, over here on the top of the box, over here on the top of the box, over here on the top of the box, you get a whole slew of cool little trinkets, but uh, they're not trinkets. They're very helpful pieces that expand the utility of the jack itself. Now, uh, one of those things is going to be this seven wave protector, and it's going to mount uh, right here on the jack. It's just a piece of plastic that has a little... Um, uh, like fork kind of rack in it that you can rest your seven way in uh, here. You can rest your seven way in it. And then uh, it acts like an umbrella and protects the top of your seven way. And it's molded to the shape of the, of the shaft. And it includes two high quality uh, zip ties in order to affix this to this, you know what I'm saying? To affix that seven way connector protector to the shaft of the super brute. The Super Brute has the ability. Um, oh, also, it's going to have a, a fuse in it and and a, oh, five minutes done. Man, okay, well, no problem. That's the show. We're going to have to talk more about the Super Brute another time. But it does have a fuse in it, and uh, I love this thing. The only difference between the 4,000 and the 5,000 is that the 5,000 lifts another 1,000 pounds, and, the remote, and it has a remote control. The Super Brute 4,000 doesn't have a remote. But today it's on sale for 34% off. It's 287.60 down from 434.90. Boom. Let's talk about the Noco Genius 2x2. I love this thing. Y'all know I love this thing. This is another one of those products that I could talk minutes and minutes about. So I'm stoked that the watch has got me on pace here today, okay? The Noco Genius 2x2 that I'm going to show you here now is actually a battery bank that is four amps. But more in reality, it's two two-amp battery banks. And uh, the two two-amp battery banks uh, are awesome because I have two batteries that I need maintained often. And the Genius, the Noco Genius 2x2 does that. You're going to get two two-amp battery charging banks that have their own proprietary leads coming out of the unit permanently. Uh, now, with this, uh, you're going to get the ability to charge 12 volt lead acid batteries. Um, uh, oh, you put me in at four. Uh, uh, okay, let's go just a bit. Let's go just a bit. Okay, you're going to be able to charge 12 volt lead acid batteries, AGM batteries, as well as lithium batteries that are of 12 volt nature. Also, this has a setting that you can charge some six volt batteries. And an amazing feature about the Noco Genius 2x2, just like most Genius charging products. This is a smart charging device, so you're not going to cross your wires if you uh, touch your leads together because the genius doesn't start putting out a charge until it determines what type of uh, uh, battery is attached to it. Now, another great feature about the Noco Genius is that you can force a charge into a dead battery. If you have a battery that is reading zero volts, according to the genius, you can force a charge into it. And then if the genius even picks up a single volt, it will start attempting to recondition that battery. And if it can recondition the battery, then it will put it into its maintenance mode. And even if you have just a regular battery, whether it's a truck battery or a car battery or a small 12 volt scooter battery, like I use this one for, uh, Noco's got you covered. You're going to get these really great little leads in the uh, box that, uh, and you're going to get two of these. You're going to get two sets of leads, uh, one for each bank. Now, these are really short leads because you can permanently install these with your battery uh, by removing, oh, I almost hit my microphone there, uh, by removing um, uh, this eyelet. There's an eyelet here that connects. Uh, you have this copper lead that has an eye that is connected with uh, an Allen screw. And when you remove this, you can expose the eye and then permanently mount the lead to your battery and your positive lead is going to be fused as well. Uh, so another layer of protection in that regard. All of these leads, all of these cables, they all have this uh, proprietary 
end that has a dust cap on it. So really, uh, NOCO is trying to help you protect your cables. Now, if you don't want to permanently install this and your lead is too short, or even if you have it permanently installed, uh, NOCO, when you buy the two by two, is going to include a, a 10 foot extension cable. Now I've got this one folded over several times, but trust me, it's definitely 10 feet. And you're going to get the exact same proprietary leads that are on this that include those dust covers and have a little button on them that make it easy to plug in and unplug these and offer another sense of security that your plugs aren't going to get yanked out. Now these aren't super locks. Okay. Like I could pull it apart with my finger, with my hands, without pressing the button, but don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Uh, okay. How much time do we got? 47 seconds left. Okay. The, uh, the Noco genius two by two has this step up kind of led readout on it that goes from red to green. And the big square is hundred percent when it's green and the small one is orange when it's 25, right? Uh, red when it's 25, but when it's green, it's a solid green. The battery's charged to hundred percent when it's flashing green, it's keeping your battery in maintenance mode. So you can be assured that your battery is uh, always, always topped off properly with the Noco Genius 2x2. And one other feature I want to tell you with 13 seconds left on the Genius is that it does have the ability in reconditioning batteries to desulfate lead acid batteries. So there's a lot of other features that are dope about the Genius 2x2. And definitely, definitely click through the store and check it out. The Noco Genius today is $99.95. Okay, the next product that I got here is going to be the Yaki laser hair removal tool. This is another easy one, bro. This is the Yaki laser hair. Oh, we, 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 hey, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, let's take a quick look at the chat while we open up the Yaki laser hair removal tool, which today is $119, which is a deal uh, that is 21% off from its regular $150 MSRP. Let's take a quick look at the chat here and see what everybody's saying in the last few minutes. We got Evans and Travel Diva uh, a while ago saying, what's up? I see Stargazer out here. Vpod he's has a 10% off coupon. Vpod has 10% off coupon. 10% off $189 is almost 20 bucks. So, uh, yeah, you're going to get it for around 60 bucks. What is going on outside? Oh, lights are flashing. <laughs> thought somebody was, <laughs> you guys can't see me. <laughs> I'm going crazy because I'm looking at my security cameras. I thought somebody was bouncing in a low rider. I don't know why I would think that, but it's just their four ways are flashing. <laughs> okay. Okay. But hey, Robin Luker, I see you out here saying had to start dinner. How are you doing on time, Blake? I'm doing great on time. I got three minutes to talk about the Yaki laser hair removal tool because I burned all this time talking to you guys in the chat. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, but everybody really is just saying hello. So not much to address. The Yaki laser hair removal tool is an amazing device that you can use at home for uh, permanent body hair removal. This IPL laser hair device, let me just read this paragraph out of this manual because it always summates exactly what this tool does better than anything that I can tell you. I'm going to read this to you now. The Yaki IPL hair removal device is designed to help break the cycle of hair growth. Light energy is transferred through the skin's surface and is absorbed by melanin present in the hair shaft. The absorbed light energy is converted into heat energy, which disables the hair follicle. Treated hairs naturally fall out over the course of a few days to one to two weeks. Continuous use can prevent hair growth in the long term. Isn't that great? So if you have some hair on your arms or uh, maybe you have some hair on your legs that you don't want, you can, or maybe you have some hair like on your chin, you can use this IPL laser hair removal tool to achieve just that. Now, in, in, out of the gate, you're going to use this for maybe uh, three times a week for the initial treatment. And then, uh, uh, and by the first week, I mean, the first round of treatments is going to last longer than a week. Okay. It's going to maybe be, I think, uh, uh, three to five weeks, I believe, is the first treatment. And you would use this device up to three times a week for the first round of treatments. And then just carrying on, you'll naturally, uh, gradually wean off of it, right? So two weeks for the next few, uh, two times a week for the next few weeks, followed by one time a week uh, after that to help continue uh, the follicle hair uh, 
disabling, I guess you would describe it as. Okay, now the uh, the Yaki Laser Hair Removal Tool looks like this. I haven't even taken that out of the box yet for you, but uh, let's do this and then do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is really cool. When you buy the Yaki Laser Hair Removal Tool, not only do you get this device, but you get the plug that plugs it into the wall. This isn't a wireless battery operated device. Now, another really, really important tool that is included in the box with this is going to be a pair of collapsible safety goggles. Whenever you're pointing a laser near your face, if you're doing that treatment, or even if you're pointing it near your body, Every time you're using the device, make sure that you're wearing those safety goggles, okay? That's very, very important. Really simple handheld device, an execution button, a navigation menu buttons, uh, navigation menu buttons at the top. Um, really, really simple, really easy to use. One other thing that they're going to put in the box is a razor blade because they recommend that the area that you're going to begin treating, that you'll shave before you begin treating it. One other very important thing that you need to know about this Yaki device is that it's not good for all skin types, okay? So if you have a little extra melanin in your skin, uh, then the Yaki laser hair removal tool might not be for you. It doesn't work good on really dark skin, and it doesn't work uh, very well on red or blonde hair either. So uh, it's uh, within the manual, there is a chart that indicates uh, what type of hair and skin conditions uh, are really well supported by this device as well as the ones that aren't. So that's the Yaki laser hair removal tool. Check it out. Today, it's available for $119, and that is 21% off down from its $150 price point. And you know what? We just did an hour. We just did an hour, and I don't have any other physical products. The next product is the drone, and that's go sit down at the table stuff. So we did it, chat. We did it. I started a few minutes late, and then I put five minutes on every product just now. And I did what? How many products did we just do? How many products did we just do? We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We did 11 products in an hour. That's amazing. The Garmin watch saved the day. Uh, so that's really, really satisfying. I'm glad that I got to achieve that. Now is the time then though to move over to the computer, right? So uh, if you've been around here, you know how that works. I'm going to throw up a little splash screen here and then play some extremely loud music. Okay. So volume warning in effect. Uh, I haven't looked into making that volume lower yet. So y'all are responsible for your own ears, but forewarned is forearmed, right? So uh, I'm going to make that music real loud here. And then I'm just going to walk over and get set up at the, uh, at the desk. And we're going to take a look at some product pages on the desk. So my five minute thing is whatever, but I got about three and a half minutes here and it only takes me two minutes to go. So let's get this set up. Let's do this now. Let's, uh, let's do this now. Let's put up our splash screen. Give me a second here to get that information ready. Let's put up this splash screen with the flex. Oh, it's the best one, right? Look at, look at this man's forehead. He's so happy to be in the shot. Okay. We're going to play the loud music now. So like I said, just turn your volume down, okay? But we'll be back in less than two minutes.
What's up, everybody? I think that you can hear me very clearly and that we got the shot established. What up? Look at look at my face today, chat. Look, I got, I, you know, I'll admit to you, okay? Uh, sometimes I pop pimples on my face that don't exist. I, sometimes I pick at my face. I can admit that, okay? But I don't remember picking at all at my face today. This isn't even a bump. It's not a bump or anything. And I got like this red spot on the in, on the bridge of my nose. I don't know how I got it, but I'm sure it's just like uh, whatever it is, it'll pass. But hey, we are out here at the desk. Let me get my chat set up a little more properly over here. And uh, yeah, I got some. You have those 50 millimeter drivers working hard in the E1000s. Hey, I never heard that track in the E1000s. Maybe I should check it out myself. Uh, how's it sound? How's it sound? Okay, let's uh, let's get going with the rest of today's show. Um, okay, we can go like this, and then um, this, and then show the show. Oh, five minutes. Okay, we got to start talking about the first product. Okay, we got to talk about the Holy Stone drone. Let's talk about the Holy Stone drone right now. Let's just get right into it. Oh, no, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I couldn't do it. I knew I couldn't do it. I knew I couldn't do it. I had to unmute Amazon first. Uh, I had to just unmute Amazon first. Give me a quick second here to do that. So we mute this, play, pause this, yes, and then unmute. Every time I mute Amazon before we go live, I'm always like, don't forget to unmute Amazon before you play the product videos. But I always forget. But I didn't just now. Let's take a look at the Holy Stone drone together. blogger technology and entertainment today we're going to be checking out the hs280 by holy stone so inside the box we have our instruction for use manual the charge cable takes a regular usb a screwdriver and some screws four extra propellers so if any break you can use a screwdriver and screws to replace those as needed an extra battery there's a button there, it just clips in. Then we have the drone itself. It's small, collapsible, camera at the front, battery in the back. Push the button and the battery slides right out. Then it just slides right back in and clips itself snug. There's your power button. Then we have the controller. We can just pop this up. This is our phone holder. Buttons at the top, record, take photo, lens up, lens down. Then back here on the front, we have our power button, our takeoff and landing, our speed switch, and the headless mode, the left and right joysticks. At the bottom, we have handles. And on the back, there is a cover for the batteries. It does take four AAA batteries. You can see right there. Let's go ahead, take it outside, and see how she flies. The drone is very easy to set up. Turn it on, connect the phone via Wi-Fi, and take off from level ground. When flying, I recommend keeping the drone in sight flying it in open areas, and keeping it below 100 meters in height. It's easy to control if there isn't any wind. The left joystick controls ascending, descending, left and right rotation. The right joystick controls the forward, backwards, left and right movement. The drone's camera is 1080p HD with a 65 degree field of view and can tilt up and down 80 degrees. When you get done flying, just press the take off or land button and the drone will gently bring itself back to the ground. In my opinion, the drone is easy to use and has good quality for being budget friendly. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. The Holy Stone drone is available today for $79.99. So 80 bucks for a drone that has a pretty good little wet a camera in it and it offers a 65 um uh, degree field of view that's pretty good that's pretty it's really small take a look at how small this is real quick look how small this is in his hands like you're gonna get the blades that you need i wonder if they offer replacement blades it looks like it because it looks like blades are already installed in this 
So are you going to get replacement plays with this? I don't know. I don't know. But for $79.99, it seems like a pretty good deal to uh, capture some shots that, uh, like, if you're, a, if you're a hobbyist and you're looking to, like, test out drones, I think 80 bucks is probably a good buy-in. I mean – comes with a camera on it how could that how could 80 bucks not be a good buy and that's full price too that's 79.99 today not on deal for the holy stone hs280 um okay so uh that's it we got 40 seconds left actually still on the drone according to this watch piece but uh i mean i don't know what else to say about the drone we don't have to do everything five minutes so let's move on to the next product here in our carousel and that is going to be the mega wheels electric scooter let's take a look at this scooter right now hey welcome back i hope you're ready for something exciting today because today i'm going to showcase you the mega wheels electric scooter s10 it has a solid build it moves really fast and finally of course it is super fun to use see that's my face on a scooter well are you ready let's check it out let me give you the full review and impressions of the whole process. So when you receive the product, it comes in a box like this. Yes, the box like this. So this is a shipping box. I was super surprised because I thought there would be an inner box inside. But look at this. Like inside, this is a product. This is a scooter. As you can see, it is very compact. And I was like, why is this black thing here? Why is this right here? And I realized, oh, that's a protection disc. You see, they pay a lot of attention to detail. Thanks to this protection, it protects the scooter from being damaged with the cosmetic damage. And here we have a lot of foam also protect the scooter during the shipping process. Even though it looks kind of weird, but the whole thing- I love the, the editing, but let's look at well the scooter protected. out of the box, see how okay? Right here, you see it has a tag with all the information in here. You will see that it's a Model S10 with a max speed of 25 km per hour, max load of 265 pounds, and the max mileage, it can go from 17 to 25 kilometers. Okay, enough talking. Now let's get into the action by start assembling this product. We can just follow the instruction for the user manual from Scooter Mega Wheels. First thing first, I have to install the wheels. It didn't take me that long, about seven minutes, as long as I just follow the instruction. They also provided some useful tools, so I just have to use whatever they provided me. And ta-da, I get it ready within seven minutes. Well, to be precise, 6 minutes and 51 seconds. Now we will install the handle. But first, let me show you how to fold the scooter. You just have to open the ladder, the lock over here, and then slowly put the head of the scooter down into the back wheel into the slot. That's it. And now we're going to install the handle for real. The handle is pretty easy to install. You just have to take the handles out and then make sure that you have the right handle. There will be one for the left and one will be one for the right. They have the sticker R and L so that can, you can easily identify which one is which and then just have to twist it in. This process doesn't take that long comparing to install the wheel. It took me about, let's remember, it took me about, let's say about three minutes total for installing both of them. Now we are ready to take the scooter out for a try. First of all, we have to unfold it by first press the bottom part so that it can release the scooter then we have to lock the scooter right here in the front and that's it and don't forget to charge it before your first use in order to turn it on you have to hold the power button for two seconds and then you can see the lcd display it's very bright and clear and it can clearly display the driving speed the battery level and the lighting conditions with only 26.4 pounds the scooter is very easy and portable to carry around the mirror wheel scooter also have a safety feature, which means that you have to scroll for a little bit before you can actually start and use the scooter. The scooter is equipped with a lot of safety features. Another one is a double braking system. Not only will you have a fun and smooth ride, but also you will have a safe and comfortable one as well. On the right is where you apply the throttle, and on the left is where you apply the electric brake. One of the things I like the most in this scooter is the one-step folding mechanism. As you can see, I just have to unlock the latch and then attach right here. And that's it. That's how I can carry my portable mega wheel scooter around very easy.
Oh, I've been muted the whole time. I've been muted the whole time. That's okay. That's okay. We'll give uh, the 32 seconds that I got left on this product to it. Yo, check out the Mega Wheels electric scooter today. It's $320, and that's down from $339. That's 6% off. And I was just saying that I like the way that the uh, that the wood looks. I like the skateboard grip and the wood look. Uh, looks like it's uh, maybe a little easier on my wallet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, than uh, maybe something that's made out of metal. But yeah, Mega Wheels is available today. Click through their carousel. Uh, click through my carousel check out this mega wheels electric scooter and also check out the store it's time to move on to the next product uh check out their store and see what they got available today okay let's move on to the next boy and that's going to be the air talk hepa air purifier so uh where is that where is that where is that here's the air talk uh hepa air purifier this is going to be the apo 601 model so <clears throat> What's going to be probably cool about this, as you'll see in the video, is that we uh, are going to have a nightlight built into this. What's up, guys and gals? My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be going over this air purifier made by AirTop. Comes in this white box, uh, top of it, extra padding on top. And hey, shout out David Craig for following. Shout out Life for following. And then you have the uh, air yo, purifier hey, hold manual. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, check out, check out what's. Hey, hold, okay, hold on. Here we go. Hey, look, there's things that are flying by the bottom of the screen. Don't miss them. There's websites. Go to shoppingdragons.com slash win and then come back here, okay? After you do that, we're going to have a race and pick a $5 Amazon gift card winner on this show in less than an hour, okay? And then also uh, go to shoppingdragons.com slash win100. There's less than 10 hours left. Uh, to enter for a $100 Amazon gift card. Or if you win, you can have that paid one here, right here, right here. $100 giveaway at shoppingdragons.com slash win 100. Check it out. Okay. Because uh, look, hurry. I didn't put the space when I made the thing, but hurry ends, hurry ends in 10 hours or less. That was when I started the show an hour ago. So enter for a hundred dollars. Uh, and thanks for the follows. Look, we're at 1,671 followers at the start of the show of our 2000 goal. And we only need about 329 followers until we can apply for a lister. So let's keep following. Thank you so much, Bev Malloy and David for following. And now let's get back into this air purifier product. Roma pads for if you want to put some oil on there and then it like I said, I'm going to open this up and show you what's inside. You have the manual right there of what to do on top of the air purifier. And then you have the matte black look on it. Really clean look. Really, really, really cool. And then you have the power supply input right there, which pretty simple to put in. And then you have, like I said, all the instructions of what uh what buttons what and stuff like that so to replace the filter when you need to you just simply just turn that baby right there and it has like that open and close and it has a little pointed arrow as you can see and there um, there's a filter right here and then you have the uh, power supply cord that came stocked in there like that for packaging and to simply put that back in there you will just push it in there Turn it to the right and to the left and whatever. And then Let's you will have like it closed for a timer on those. You can turn it all the way up if you wanted to. It depends on how much, how much fan you want to have blowing for these, this air purifier. Uh, the fan right there is really, really strong. You can feel it. And you can honestly just feel your air just making it feel better. In my opinion, I love it, and then it's a really great product. Like I said, all, all these settings on top has all the fans, and then you have the top of it. Really cool looking, about 10 inches tall and about 5 inches wide. Uh, it can go anywhere, living room, kitchen, or even your garage if you wanted to. As I dim the lights, you can see that it has a night mode on there which has that color on top right there, has that blue, and you can see the fan moving in there also. So with that, crank the light back on for you guys and show you this awesome product. Um, I really do highly recommend this product, even for your office that you yeah, have. Yeah, that's cool. I thought that the light was going to be like an option that you would turn on and then 
I thought the light would be an option that you turn on, but it looks like it's it does have the light to turn on and off. I thought it was brighter, but it's more recessed inside the fan, which I think is a lot more ambient, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, it's not a uh, it's not what I expected in the light. You know, sometimes I jump around the videos and I don't always. See every feature so to see the blue light at the end there and this air talk air purifier is really aesthetically pleasing today the air talk hepa air purifier is available for 39.99 and that's 43 percent off from its uh 69.99 price point so check that out and we're going to move on to our next product here and this is going to be the basis power combo uh i don't know i don't know basis power combo i just was reading my carousel let's see what next product we got to show you here and it's going to be this basis 65 watt usb c charging station with two outlets and this is going to be presented to us by our friend james look at it look at it you see his lips you see his mouth he's like, james here here we go James here. Today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Bezos. This is their USB-C charging block. Now, this is their 65-watt Gain 3 block. It does have two USB-Cs. You have Type 1 and 2 USB-C ports. You also have one USB and one USB 3.0s. So you have two USB ports, which is great to actually have all these ports. Now, one thing this does have different that most don't have is it does actually have small little plugins for on the side for like your laptops and stuff. And we'll get to that in a second, kind of show you guys that. Now, this does have the capability of coming in two different colors. You have the black version, you have the white version. Now, with the Game 3, you should be able to charge your S21 in approximately 30 minutes from zero to full charge, which is great to have. 30 minutes for your iPhone 12s and 13s, and approximately, I believe, about 30 minutes for your MacBook Pro, which is great to have all that. Now, the cool part is this does have a 100-watt Type-C cable included. So inside that, you have your USB-C cable, 5-foot cable, guys, USB-C to USB-C. Great little option. Then you have the power brick. This is standard wall style, guys, right? But a cool thing is, is the way they design it, you ain't going to take up a lot of space in your wall plug. And then on the side, you can actually plug in your laptop on the sides, guys, if you have that old school style plug-in. Nice to have that option. You have one on each side. The size is very small. This is actually cool to have something this small. There, nicely pronounced their logo. Then you have your two USB-C ports plus your USB 3.0 ports or USB-A's, I should say, right? USB A ports. Now, nice to have all of that in there. You have the capability of charging all kinds of stuff. Remember, you can charge multiple devices with this. It will allow you to do that. That is actually cool to have this. It does have the 20, 20 watt ports right here, plus the 45s. Guys, charge in 30 minutes, plus to have this small little device. Set this on your desktop. You have extra space to charge other stuff on your desktop without taking up a lot of space. I love that. This option than having the old school big power bricks, guys, this is a great option. Again, this is from Bezos. This is their 65-watt port. Guys, nice little thing. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great one. That seems really industrial, eh, with that big cord on the back of it. Um, and having the three prong grounded outlets on it. That's, that's really cool. Whenever I see a product like that with like a big, excuse me, with a big thick cord on it like that, I'm always inclined to think that this is something that you can like safely kind of just put on the floor, use it. You can put this on your desk. You can, this is good for desktop. But when I look at this, I, I look at it and I see like a device that is something that you can put down on the floor or uh, you can leave it, leaving it up on the desktop too actually would be really great with those three prong plugs. You'd have all the plugs that you would need to demo stuff on the table, you know, and I'm just looking at it from a streamer's perspective that does, uh, that does product reviews. You know what I'm saying? Like this is versatile for anything really like James was explaining in the video. And today the basis power combo 65 watt USB C charging station with two outlets is available at 40% off for 59 99. That's 60 bucks down from its regular 99 99 price point. So uh, save 40 bucks on a hundred 
and scoop up the basis 65 watt USB C charging station today for 60 bucks. Boom. Uh, that's with 30 seconds left. Sweet. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, this is the, this is the thin light. This is the thin light. Okay. Let's take a look at the thin light. Is that this one? Yeah, this is going to be the thin light. Okay. Let's take a look at this thin light product together. James here. Today we're taking a look, look at the brilliant evolution light bar. This is an ultra thin light bar that you can pretty much place anywhere you really need. Inside this box, you get a few things, including some 3M adhesive strips, so you can stick it to wherever you Isaac, want it. Thank you for following. Check the counter, out the bottom of the screen. Anywhere like that. Follow for the you giveaways. Also some instruction so manuals. You soon. will also need three, uh, three AA batteries to run this device. Then you get this light bar. The light bar has four LEDs. Uh, it is touch sensitive, so you touch it, it turns it on. Now you can turn it back off also just like that. Off those batteries, you'll get about 100 hours of usage time off those three batteries. It is 65 luminous. It is a, a warm light color and it's very easy to use. Now, of course, you have this, but on the back, you will need to slide this device off to put the batteries in and inside here you'll also see uh, what is screws so you can mount it with screws and to mount this with screws you would actually take this plastic piece mount this to the wall and then you can slide this on and off as you need to put in new batteries uh you know 100 hours battery life you may not use it a lot now i'm going to throw in some AAA batteries here and we're going to turn this on and make sure it comes on then we're going to slide the backing back on just like this now of course as you guys see it just popped on and that's because we're trying to put the back on here uh, of course i have it backwards of course of course so back on it goes then if you want to turn it on you just literally hit the light and it's on that easy that simple now let me drop this other light off you guys can see the actual color and hue very nice color and hue. Simple, guys. Easy to use. Uh, wireless. Fully wireless. Just takes a couple batteries, and you're good to go. Just tap it. Comes on. Tap it. Comes off. Guys, if you need an LED bar, Brilliant Evolution might be the one for you. I want to thank you for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great one. James is awesome. Yo, that is the Brilliant Evolution Wireless LED Light Bar. And today, that's 22% off. It's 14 bucks down from regular 18 bucks. Uh, these are awesome, right? They run on batteries. You don't need to, uh, charge them. I mean, if you have rechargeable batteries, I guess, but these just run on some like straight double A's or triple A's, whatever batteries these ones operate on. I've got a few again in the camper and, uh, yeah, they're indispensable when, when you're in a place where you just don't have power and, uh, your phone's not the right thing to burn your battery out on for ambient light. These little led kind of button boys, they do the trick. It's what it looks like uh, in a still image. So yeah, check out the uh, evolu the Brilliant Evolution Wireless LED Light Bar today. And there ain't much to say about that one. And we have two minutes left. So let's move on to our next product here. And that is going to be, I believe, the Innocent Ultra Wide 40 inch monitor. Yes, it is. Today, this monitor is four seventy nine ninety nine, and that's twenty percent off. Uh, that's twenty percent off uh, five. 600 bucks it's 480 down from 600 the 99.99s sometimes like it's literally just reading but sometimes it throws me off so uh 600 bucks down to 480 that's 20 percent off let's take a look at this review for this 40 inch gaming monitor James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product guys this is from innocent this is their new monitor this is a 40c 1r model number guys this is a 40 inch ultra wide screen monitor this is a 21 to 9 contrast ratio guys which is really really cool now it is a 12001 high ratio contrast which is the coloration now the 21 to 9 is the actual the dimension ratio which is very very cool really really wide guys now this is actually an hdr this is 500 nits brightness which is just amazing this does have amd free sync this is, a, you know, this monitor can actually do split screen. So if you use one of the two HDMI ports or the USB-C or the display port, you can divide this monitor in half. Now I have the Nintendo Switch hooked up just for, you know, showing, you know, to show you guys this. 
right now. Now, the cool thing is I'm going to show you guys a couple things. On its base, guys, and I'm going to move some stuff around so we can show you guys this. You can swivel it in multiple directions, right? Not just that way, but you can swivel it and angle it that way. Or you can raise and lower it. Now, I have it down low on purpose, and I haven't angled that yet for a reason. We do have a switch hooked up. We have some Mario hooked up, right? Which is cool. It's going to pop up. You know, I'll just click through to kind of show you guys some of this. Now, like I said, it does have two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you have multiple other pieces. Now, you could use a Visa mount to hang this on the wall, guys, but it will need to be 100 by 100 and support at least 30 pounds. So just remember that, guys. Now, I'm not sure why all this stuff is just showing me all this, right? Because probably I haven't played in a while. But we're trying to show you guys some colorations. That coloration is just amazing. Now, for such a big a monitor, guys, you will need the space. Now, like I said, it does have a USB-C uh, style plug in there. It does have HDMI ports. It also has the display port, guys. And you also have one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does have speakers built in. Now, it is highly compatible with all your consoles, so don't worry. That's why I have the Switch hooked up for you today and showing you guys this, which is actually quite cool. And like, you know, like I said, it will take an HDMI 2.0. Let's jump into some game footage here. We're just going to... Okay, now that I got it hooked up, guys, let's uh, try and mess around here, right? We have this little controller here. Look at that. Ho oh, ho. Head off to another kingdom. So you guys see very bright, very beautiful, awesome colors. Now I'm going to move the camera a little more so you guys can see this a little better. Now, like I said, man, it is large. Let's take this uh, little tube for comparison, right? This tube is actually not that short, but if you guys see the comparison, guys, it really is super, super long. Let's try and go over to a little kingdom. Pop off and see. And you guys can watch this, guys. This is just a beautifully done monitor. Now, I cannot wait to hook this monitor up. Guys, the Innocent, you know, this Innocent monitor. Okay, so pretty standard, uh, forty, pretty standard forty-inch monitor, but that's going to be the Innocent forty-inch uh, ultra-wide monitor, offering you that resolution of uh, thirty-four forty by fourteen forty p. So you're going to get really, really uh, great colors, according to James. It looked really nice what they were showing with the switch, and uh, I bet if you're a movie buff, that would look really good with movies too. I like how it's got that kind of like widescreen sort of sixteen by nine. <clears throat> uh, uh, layout instead of being like a more standard television that always puts the bars at the top and the bottom of the screen. I like those 16 by 9 layout that eliminates the bars. I think that's really nice. Today, the Innocent Monitor is $480 down from $600. And uh, yeah, we're making good time here. So uh, listen, hey, check it out. If you're in the chat, uh, Rover's out here running the show. And I really appreciate that. So listen to Rover. He's doing the roll call. I see you all listening to him already, but uh, bears to reinforce. So go ahead and get it together. Yo, we're going to take a look at this uh, electric fan, I think, next, and then the foam mattress. And so after the foam mattress, we're going to close the form up and get ready to do the giveaway uh, so yeah, so we're going to do that. So keep listening to Rover. Keep getting that roll call in today. The roll call is uh, led light bar. And if you are here and you're entering for the $100 gift card giveaway that ends in less than nine hours. Okay. The secret word there is snow dragon secret word, snow dragon on the hundred dollar form. Let's get those roll calls in. And we're going to keep this moving right now. We're going to take a look at the next product uh, that I got here. And I believe it is this dual head shape. I thought it was a fan. I was looking down uh, at my at my carousel. Very small thumbnail. But it's actually going to be uh, a fabric shaver. So these are probably going to be great if like you get pilling on your on your shirt or something. But let's take a look together and see what this review says. James here with a quick unboxing and showcase of a new product, guys. This is from Desert West. This is their lint remover or fabric shaver. This is a dual head style. It is a rechargeable device. 
Now this has dual heads, so it can go up to 12 centimeters wide for a wider path. It does have, um, it can use it on wool, knit, cotton, cashmere, or couches like I'm going to use it on because that's what I truly need it for. Now you'll get about three and a half hours use on a full charge. It is a USB-C style, as you guys can see the device here. And I will flip it over, and there is your USB style charger. Now to clearing this out, guys, you just slide the little thing, and that's how you clear it out. Now, as you guys can see here, it is a nicely, nice looking design, nice white heads, dual razors, power buttons on the back, of course, right? They do give you a nice carrying case to go with it. And it is actually really soft. I mean, you could use this for anything besides just this device, but the device will fit in there. Uh, user manual, if you guys need the user manual, of course. And then it also comes with, and I will pop this open right here. This is where you have your USB to USB-C. Now, if you guys don't have a charge, plug it in and use it plugged in. Then you also have... Uh, if I could open it through the right direction, let me grab this. And I was actually shocked that this comes with this, but it comes with two more heads just in case the blades get dull. Now we're going to pop over. We're going to shave the couch, and that's where I'll show you guys how to change the heads and all that good stuff. So if you guys give me a second, let's change views. Okay, now that we changed views, you guys can see the brand new couch, but it's already starting to get fuzzies on it. This is where this will come in handy. Now, I'm going to kind of show you guys this real quick right here. First thing is to change the blades. Just unscrew this, right? This will give you the option to pull out the blade, swap it over to a new fresh blade. Very easy, very simple. Second, power button. Turn it on. That's level one. That's level two. We're just going to go with level one, right? And I can already hear it uh, working. Which is crazy. Let's go to level two. I'm going to drop back down. We're going to kind of pull this open and see what we got in here. Whoops. Remember, guys, it is a shaver, so just be careful. So pop it down, and inside here is what we'll have all of our shavings. And as you guys see, that's what shaved off that couch, including that. That is all the fuzz and fabric that shaved off this couch. Now, remember, guys, the more you shave on this couch, of course, the fabric's going to get thinner. Uh, just remember that. Be cautious. And... You know, this thing works great. I actually am happy with how it works. I'm uh, still using it right here, guys, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? I thought it was like for clothing and stuff because I remember seeing things like this way back in the day that were good for clothing. I wouldn't see why you couldn't use this on your clothing. I, I just think James was giving us an excellent demo on the couch. So the uh, the the Desert West Electric uh, – hold on. The, the Desert West Dual Head Fabric Shaver is available today for $48.99, and that's a 30% uh, deal off of $69.99. So taking it from $70 down to $49, it's pretty good, pretty good deal, I think. If you're looking for a device like that, then consider Desert West, okay? Click through the carousel, check it out, get a little more information, and uh, you know, definitely consider looking at the store and see if they have any other products that could be uh, useful to you. Okay, yo, Rover's out here with the rush. He come in at the end of the show, scooping up all these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, scooping up all these names and everything for this $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. Appreciate you, uh, Rover, and... Um, yeah, if if uh, if people don't do the roll call, it's okay. They uh, they might miss out a chance. They might miss out a chance, but uh, you know, appreciate you letting them know that they're not in there. And uh, we're gonna close the form though right after this foam mattress, boys. So uh, I'll uh, I'll be typing closed in the chat before the video ends. So that's uh, 
that's what's going on. So get your roll calls in. We're going to do that $5 Amazon gift card giveaway. This is going to be the second to last product, and this is going to be the uh, the Aronski 3-inch memory foam. Uh, this is pretty cool, man. I've been reviewing this uh, product page with y'all on the show a little bit, and uh, this is definitely like uh, – oh, this looks like a different one. This is a different mattress topper. Oh, this is a different mattress topper. It's a different video than the one I thought we were going to show. Uh, but let's take a look at it anyway. This is going to be a three-inch three, three inch memory foam mattress topper by, by Aaron. James here. Today we're taking a look at the Aaron Sky three-inch memory foam topper, guys. This is a gel style. As you guys can see, it's nice and thick. Now, this does come rolled up, guys. You will need to let it sit out for 24 to 48 hours. This has been out over 30 hours. We should be good. Now... With this, it's a gel style memory foam, so you do have these air holes. These air holes will actually help breathability and help keep you cooler. Nice thick padding. Uh, if you squish on it, guys, you'll see it collapse, but once you let go, it comes right back up, which is actually really cool. Nice bluish coloration, guys. Since it is a three inch memory foam topper, guys, remember that your sheets may need to get deeper depending on how deep your actual bed is. If you have a 16 inch bed, you're gonna need 18 inch sheets or 19 inch sheets or so on, depending on how it works. Now, of course, what's a bed without testing out the memory foam topper? And here I go. And you guys see my arm is sinking in with this, my belly is, it's actually curving around uh, my actual hips and stuff. I like that. It actually feels like it belongs here. It's actually fit, fitting around my hips, my belly and everything. And I'm not a small guy, so doing that is pretty hard. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, it's actually really, really comfy. I, I, I actually quite like this. Um, guys, just give me a second. I'm gonna take a little nap. I mean, not really, but you know, I probably should take a nap. No, guys, this Aaron Sky memory foam topper actually feels really good. Now, getting up, it's a memory foam topper. Of course, it's gonna see. You guys see the crevice right there of me, and you watch it come right back up. Now, that's cool that it can do that that quick, that easy. Uh, like I said, blue and white coloration, guys. Memory foam, if you need, Aaron Sky uh, gel style memory foam topper, three inches, nice and super thick. Yeah. Super thick. Yo, these are cool because you don't have to have it just as this foam topper. You can use it for anything you want, right? It's a big slab of foam, so you can cut it up, you know, and use it. Oh, wrong button. You can cut it up and use it for different projects. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. You can cut it up and use it for different projects if you wanted to. Uh, that's what I thought we were taking a look at the same video that Justin did about this product where he had it on the sofa bed. But yeah, these are dope because like they got that real good memory foam in them. You're going to sink into this. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's uh, that's really, really nice. Um, again, when I look at this product, this is the type of product that I see that uh, that makes me want to get new cushions in my camper. I love my camper. When I go on Amazon, I'm always looking for ways to improve my camper um experience i got a really old camper but it's really solid in my opinion uh there are a few things that aren't so solid you know but uh nonetheless nonetheless camper's fresh and uh, oh yeah i said i was gonna type closed in the chat okay let's do that right now okay closed in the chat right rover here we go see uh let's do it in all caps closed uh, closed okay it's closed now Close now. So thank you, Rover, for uh, volunteering to run that list tonight. Everybody, I think, is kind of getting used to that you're doing it. So I appreciate you managing all of that for me. It's efficient when we get to do the list uh, for the clown race. So, um, so yeah. So thank you, Rover, for doing that. Let's now get in. Oh, the the Aronski three inch memory foam that is one hundred and forty nine ninety nine today. Uh, so yeah, so check that out if you're looking to sleep on a cloud. Arinsky's got you covered, literally. They'll cover your whole body in a cloud uh, for 150 bucks. Okay, let's move on to the last product here. It's going to be the Goose Down uh, Blanket. And uh, yeah, okay, to do that, we just do this and this and this. The Arinsky Goose Down Comforter Showcase. This is going to be right on top of that memory foam mattress that james just showed us so let's take a look at this last product in our carousel and then give away some money james here and today we're taking a look at a few little things here of course they're from aaron sky as you guys see i do have this box here uh the product is already laying out now it is vacuum sealed so we'll have to pull that back out 
This is their goose down comforter, guys. This is 25% goose down, which is actually quite cool. A uh, lot of uh, fill here. So 600, uh, 600 fill power, uh, premium goose down, guys. Uh, great duvet. Uh, it's awesome. Apart. Now, if you flip this over, guys, it'll talk about a few things. Of course, the size. We have a queen, so it's 90 by 90. It tells you about the name, how much fill is in here, and all of that. So you do have 100% polyester, but you also have 25% goose down and 75% goose feathers. So you have goose down and feathers. That's cool. Uh, guys, simple little product, nice little box that comes in. But what does it look like when we pull it out? Uh, of course, oh, it's actually not vacuum sealed. It's just wrapped up. I like that. Now we're going to pull this open, guys. It is washable, so you can clean this, guys. They do recommend a few things for cleaning this. Uh, of course, they also recommend fluffing it, guys. Get it in a nice, nice warm area and fluff it. Washing it, guys. Cover the comforter over and wash it in the washer. Just a light wash. So, as you guys see, it is right here. It's super thin, but it's going to come out. And when we come out, we're going to keep coming out just like this. And now you're going to notice that it's actually really thin. But you need to fluff it up. So fluffing it up is actually quite important to get those feathers back out there. Now, just from just here now, you can see that it's actually getting some fill into it. Uh, some air is getting in there. All of that. Nice little, uh, I like this actually. So this is separately stitched in areas. So each section has its own cube. Uh, if you guys can see, the cubes are separately stitched and all of that. That's actually really cool. Now, also, it's all season. You guys can see this side's actually getting nice and fluffed up. It'll all, it'll keep doing that. Just keep fluffing it until you're out to the proper, proper fluffness that you want. Simple little product, guys. Now, of course, you got to fuss with it because is your wife going to be happy if you just leave all wrinkles on the bed? Probably not. But since we're showing you this, you know what? We also have the Air and Sky Guys 3-inch memory foam gel topper over here. But let's lay on this real quick. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the fabric is actually quite soft. It's actually cool. Um... Yeah, so one thing about goose down and feathers is, is usually you'll feel the feathers stick out, the little, uh, the actual quill part. I don't feel that. I don't hate this. This is actually really nice. Um, this is going to stay on my bed. I like this goose down, guys. So I'm going to let this keep fluffing out. Of course, guys, it's going to keep fluffing up. I messed it up by laying on it, but let it fluff up more and let it fluff and fluff. The cool thing is, since this is a duvet cover, it's also a duvet insert. You can put this inside a duvet cover itself or just use it as a quilt like it is or put it in a duvet cover and tie it in. It's got the strap ties all the way around it. Great little product, guys, from Aaron Sky. I want to thank you for checking this video. Hope you guys have a great one. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it? Who's who? Do you think says it right? Do you think it's Arinsky like I'm saying it, or do you think it's Aaron Sky like James says it? Um, let me know what you think about that. But yo, we got the list out here. I see Rover smashing it out for me. Yo, we're gonna wrap this show up before before seven. We're gonna wrap this show up before seven o'clock. That that's a for sure. We did two hours today, the whole show, and I started like a minute or two late. So we nailed it. This this five minute timer on my wrist is the lifesaver and will be the backbone of future episodes of Clown Live here on uh, Shopping Dragons because uh, that five dollar that five minute boy that helped me the whole show. That was awesome. Three shuffles, 60 seconds. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, cool. So let me get ready then uh, the clown race. Okay, I think I got it ready here. 
Okay, this is the clown race, and this is all the names that we got in the clown race uh, kitchen timer. I got the kitchen timer on my watch now. Thank you, Robin Luca, for saying great job today. It's really, really, really extremely validating because you all know I'm trying to hit that two-hour mark. And uh, I did really good the other day, too, even with some issues even with some issues that I was having uh, showing some videos, I still wrapped up that show in under two and a half hours. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit that stride soon, and, and that two-hour goal is going to be really awesome to maintain. But, uh, yeah, five minutes left, so let's keep it moving here and try to wrap up that two-hour goal. And this is the whole list. Nobody said anything in the chat. Rovers, uh, da, 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 Nate, did you, da, da, da. Good job, clown. Thank you, Travel Diva. It's a, it's I appreciate that. Okay, yo, this is the list of names, though. Let's. Oh, I got I got my walking tap steps by shaking my hand just now. My walking goal today. <clears throat> but let's read these names and then put them in the list. Okay, so we got Bill and Samantha and Brenda and Travel Diva, followed by Stargazer and Bart. We have Jennifer Lude and Quacker Jack, Rover, Chucky. We've got Bev Malloy. Bev Malloy is a new follower. Thank you, Bev, for following. Ed S, Wiley S, we got Ray Ray Gumi Chan, Randy Dresden, we got Ian B in the chat. Also, we got Margaret, Robin Luker, Alyssa, Scott H, Evans, Angelica, and Hefe also in the chat. So this should be 23 names, I think uh, Rover said. So let's copy all these names right now. Let's copy them. And then uh, it, the, the list starts with Bill and it ends with Hefe and should be 23 names. So we hit the names list here and edit that list. Boom, boom, boom. 23 names ending in Hefe and starting with Bill. So that's the complete list. Let's hit done here. Let's add one minute to the clock and set that. And then was it three shuffles? Was it, let me go back up. Was it three? You don't have to say it again. I'm going to look. I'm going to check the message. Uh, um, do, 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 Rover. Three shuffles, 60 seconds. Okay, here's three shuffles. One, two, three. Three shuffles, and let's hit start right now. This is going to be a race for a $5 Amazon gift card, and it looked like all of the names that were uh, on that list uh, probably already went and entered the form. So good luck, everybody. Here we go. Uh, the clown music is okay. But I want to get, like, like look figuring out maybe me clown music. But, uh, yeah, we got everybody up at the front. We got a few in the back. We got... Uh, Dragons.com slash win 100. And then we have $100 gift card that's going to end. And just flowers. And the winner of $5 here is going to be Angela Villarreal. I think it's Villarreal. Congratulations, Angela Villarreal. You are the winner of a $5 Amazon gift card for the screen of Clown Live and to buy Shopping Dragons. And then let me head over. Oh, let me uh, hide my screen. And then let me head over to Discord and uh, say that Angelica the real wins Saturday. Five dollars. Five dollars. Uh, I made the big letter small and the small letters big. So, uh, but Angelica Via Real, you win. You win five dollars for Saturday's show. Congratulations. Uh, let's take a look and see who placed where. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We had Angelica first, Bill second, Stargazer in third, and then look at all your names. Look at all your names. Look at all your names here. Look at these names. Who come in 17th place? Ian B came in 17th place. Did you guys know that 17 is my lucky number? 17's, oh, uh, let me return to my chat and my stream. Uh, did you guys know that 17 is my lucky number? It's not really been important here, but it's an important thing to remember. Always remember what my lucky number is. It's 17, okay? But let's see who else came. Eight, Travel Diva in 18th place. 
Uh, Bev Malloy, thanks for coming out and following today. We got you in 20th place here, but don't be uh, shy. Come back and play again, okay? We give away a $5 gift card every stream, and sometimes we give away a lot more than that, okay? So, Alyssa, we see you in 23rd place today. Thank you for coming out and playing that game with us. But, hey, man, hey, man, it's 6.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is a.k.a. 7 p. It just hit 6.59, and we're done. We did the whole show. I did the whole show in two hours. I did, I think, 11 physical products. I think I did 11 physical products, and I did uh, nine product pages. Uh, so, yeah, we smashed it. We smashed it, and we did the race. And we took the names and did the race. Rover, definitely, I probably would have pushed a little bit past 7 p.m. Uh, if it wasn't for you coming in at clutch at the last minute there and running that whole roll call for me. So, uh, everybody, if you're so inclined, uh, you know, uh, Rover is awesome in the chat. Or thank you, Rover. He really, really uh, has been over here helping me out on Clown Live. And I couldn't achieve some of these goals without him. So, appreciate you in a major way, Rover, and everybody else, of course, with uh, – the race isn't over. The race isn't over. Is it not over on your stream? It's been been over on my stream. It's been over on my stream. Are you telling me that I got to stay live? No, I can't stay live. I can't stay live, Stargazer. Refresh your page, okay? And then come back and tell me that the race is over, okay? But uh, yeah, it's 7 p.m. on the dot here. So thank you everybody for coming out and giving that fine support. Uh, I appreciate y'all with um, the follows. We, we're at 1675. 475 now i just said and um and uh yeah so uh hit up all the things do all the stuff we're done here for today uh this is a this is a saturday show that just kind of popped up last minute here and uh not so last minute is going to be a sunday show and so i'll be back here tomorrow um, with another Amazon live interactive shopping experience presented by shopping dragons known to you as clown live. I'm dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. You can call me whatever you like, but, uh, I'm going to see you here with some more products and some more deals tomorrow at 5 PM Eastern standard time. And thank you so much again, everybody for all the support. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye.